This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Kelwabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Mezco 112 Collective Previews Exclusive Sovereign Knight Batman. Now taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in your standard previews tin with a black and grey motif and the yellow oval Batman symbol at the center. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images and panels showcasing the figure in multiple posing positions with his different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. And here is Batman out of the tin. And man, yet another amazing Batman figure from Mezco. They tend to go all out with their Batman figures and this one is no exception. I love the blue and gray color scheme and I love all of his accessories. Since this guy was cut back pretty severely, I am super stoked to add him to the collection. But before we take a closer look at the actual figure, let's take a closer look at his accessories. So Batman does come with a ton of accessories. Starting off, he comes with 4 interchangeable head sculpts, 10 small batarangs, a sonic disruptor, a grapnel gun with two hooks, a large batarang, and 11 interchangeable hands. And lastly, he also comes with a circular base stand with the Batman logo printed atop. He also comes with a clear articulated arm that articulates at four points with a clip. He also comes with an attachment and five bendable wires for posing around the cape. So with the accessories out of the way, let's take a closer look at the previews exclusive Sovereign Knight Batman. Alright guys, now let's check out PX Sovereign Knight Batman. And uh, yeah buddy, this guy came out super awesome. Uh, this is probably one that a lot of people were waiting for the most when it came to this version of Batman. And it, they nailed it dude, this came out so freaking good. Now it sucks that there was a big issue with distribution with these guys, so he's limited way more than we originally thought he was going to be. But these are incredible. Uh, so first let's start off with the head sculpts here. The head sculpts are incredible. Uh, they're all the same ones that we've seen with all the other Sovereign Knight figures. Uh, so we got the one with the long ears, looks really good. We have the battle damage one, which is one of my personal favorite. I love that. Uh, just looks so good with the silver and the just messed up head. I just think it looks awesome. Uh, we do get one with short ears, which I love. I dig that one a ton. Uh, and then we do have an unmasked one, more of a Bruce Wayne head, uh, which is said we've seen this, that same face with the other Sovereign Knight Batman figures. Uh, so for this particular Batman, uh, I think I'm actually gonna go with the short ears for this one. So they're just on standard ball pegs, and you can pop the other ones on like so, and there you go. Because when I see this like uh, blue and gray suit like this uh, with the short ears, it kind of reminds me a little more of like a Jim Lee Hush Batman, uh, just a little bit. Uh, I like that with the exception of the, yellow, the logo, but anyways, uh, the yellow logo looks really good. Everything about that looks awesome. I think that looks so good. Uh, all the uh, detailing in the actual suit, I think looks really cool, man. A lot of people don't like it. I personally love it. I love that Mezco style that they give with their figures. The gauntlets look really good. Dig those. The boots look incredible. We have actual knee pads on there. That's really cool. I kind of wish those were blue. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I think that would have been cool if those were blue too. Really cool tread on the feet. Uh, we can look at the back right here, more of that detailing on the back of that. Looks really nice. Uh, we even have a little holster right here for his uh, grapnel gun. Uh, this is this one doesn't stay as well as it does on the other figures I've noticed. Uh, you can get it on there, but it pops off pretty easily. Uh, it's a little disappointing, but not a super big deal. Uh, then we get this really dope, huge cape. Uh, for the Batman figure. Oh my god, that is so awesome. This color is crazy, too uh, I'm not sure exactly. It's almost like an iridescent. It's really interesting how they did that But you could drape it over the shoulders, you know do that kind of thing Some people like that or just have it over the one shoulder. I think that's really cool So however you want I love 
just a really big flowing draping cape i think it looks really good that way and uh very very awesome so aesthetically i think this guy is beautiful okay now as other accessories we do get the uh stand right here uh, done in a gray with a blue bat logo right there which is pretty nice uh we also get the clear articulated arm uh then we do get the bendy wires for the cape uh, I know not everyone is a big fan of these. Uh, I don't really care. It's not a big deal to me. I don't. I don't particularly use these myself. Uh, they're just for clipping on the cape, and they're kind of a pain in the butt. And then you have the little clip for the actual stand, like so. Again, uh, I I prefer not unwired capes. So it was pretty cool that they tried something different with uh you know doing the wires separately, uh, and then you clip them on. But it's just too much of a pain in the butt, and I understand why they're gonna. It looks like they're gonna be steering away from that in the future with the next uh, Supreme Knight figure. We get all kinds of interchangeable hands. You know, we got uh, close-fisted hands that look pretty cool. All the hands look really nice. Uh, we get, you know, more type of like trigger finger hands. We get more open palm hands that are really cool. Those look really good. Uh, one of my favorites is the uh, kryptonite knuckles. I think that's super awesome. I love that they even included that. I think it's really dope, you know, for, you know, fighting Superman and other Kryptonians and things like that. Just That's just really super cool. Uh, great detail on that. Uh, we do get his grapnel gun. It's the same grapnel gun that we've seen different times before, uh, just in different colors. You can see it's in like a black, silver, and blue, which looks really nice. And then we get the different types of hooks and one, like one you can plug right into it like that, or you get the one with like the actual sh uh, string attached to it if you want to use that. So that's really cool too. Uh, we also do get that like, that was like a sonar gun or something like that. I forgot what it's called totally off the top of my head, but... This still looks really good. You got the blue cone like that. I think it's super awesome. And you can actually unplug that and then plug that into the uh, side of it like so. And then you can technically just store it in the back of this like that if you want to. So that's an option for display or for storage, I should say. Uh, we also do get a large battering. Now this is the same large battering uh, that we've seen before. Uh, I was kind of hoping this was gonna be either, either all gold or maybe blue and gold, but it's like black and gold, kind of like the uh, the Mezco Direct Exclusive Batman. Uh, we also do get a bunch of these gold uh, batterings, the standard batterings I think look really cool. I love the fact that they gave us so many uh, just for displays and things like that. And you can get some, um, like more than one of these hold held in uh, each gripping hand. They have like certain battering holding hands, uh, like so. That you can do certain poses for so that's pretty awesome he just comes with a lot of cool stuff and again it's the same stuff we've seen with other figures uh but i genuinely love all of these accessories okay now probably the coolest accessory is the bat drone i think this is so awesome and i love how we're getting these really like intricate gadgets uh that batman would totally use you can see like the turbines under there and things like that uh this i think the sculpt of that is awesome just looks really cool all that panel lining just looks so good. It almost has like a, the way this tail's uh, in, almost like a wasp too. That's pretty crazy. But it's nice done, done in a really dark uh, blue with that gunmetal silver and the bright yellow eyes. And again, we've seen this before uh, with the other Sovereign Knight figures. This is just in a different color and seeing all three of those bat drones just looks really freaking dope. Uh, but this actually does have articulation. You kind of swivel the uh, wings like so. So you can get him in different types of flight poses like he's hovering or he's flying forward. All that kinds of cool stuff. I just think that's awesome. Definitely one of the coolest accessories there is. So with all of that stuff out the way, now let's actually run down the articulation for Batman here because it's actually pretty good. Uh, they tend to go all out with their Batman figures. So the head is on a ball joint, does a roll around like so, does look up all the way about that much, down about that far, pivot side to side and rotate left and right. Arms can go all the way up and down, up and out that far. We do get a butterfly joint in there, rotation at the bicep, a double double jointed elbow, rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist. We get a ball peg in the midsection, so that rolls around, does turn left and right, pivot side to side, and crunch back and forth. We got hip joints that kick forward that far, back about that much, splits all the way out, rotation in the upper thigh, double double jointed uh, knees, uh, no rotation at the boot, but we get a ball joint at the ankle, so it rotates up and down and a very good ankle rocker so overall i personally think this is yet another home run batman figure i think this guy might go up in price just for the fact that he was cut by numbers 
very dramatically across the board. And so he's going to be, become really hard to come by. And even before that, I know he was already a super popular looking figure that a lot of people wanted. So if you can find him now at a decent price, I definitely recommend picking up because he is absolutely a must get. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool figure, as well as a DCUC Batman figure. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to the previous exclusive Ascending Knight Batman. And for even more bat comparison, here he is standing next to the standard release Sovereign Knight Batman and Mezco Direct exclusive Sovereign Knight Batman. And just for fun, here he is standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is, guys. My review of the Mezco 112 Collective Previews Exclusive Sovereign Knight Batman. Now, overall, I think this guy is incredible because Mezco just goes all out with their Batman figures. And in my opinion, they do the best Batman figures you can get from any line. His soft goods are so well done, the paint is beautiful, his articulation is fantastic, and his accessories are insane. I absolutely love this piece, and honestly, the blue and gray look is one of my least favorite looks for Batman. But when it comes to the Mezco figures, in my opinion, they're some of the best. And this guy is no exception. He is an amazing figure that I think you would absolutely love for your collections. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.